Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now with a look at Axios AM, national political reporter for Axios, Jonathan Swan, the man of the hour um, after that interview, Jonathan. Uh, and I want you to take us through it um, from your perspective. So give us Axios as one big thing today. Oh, thank you. Well, um, the one big thing is um, the interview that aired last night on H Axios on HBO with President Trump. Look, there are many noteworthy moments in this interview. Um, it, it, it runs, I think, close to 40 minutes. But for me, one of the most striking sections of the interview is when President Trump whips out his own charts to try and make the case uh, in contravention of all available evidence that the U.S. is leading the world on the coronavirus. Uh, this is a time when more than, at the point the interview was filmed, more than 145,000 Americans have died of the virus and 1,000 Americans were dying a day. Take a look at some of these charts. I'd love to. We're going to look. Let's look. And if you look at death, yeah. error, it started to go up again. One. Well, right here, the United States is lowest in numerous categories. Uh, we're lower than the world. Lower than we're the lower world? lower than what is that? Europe. Take in what? Look. In what? Take a look. Right here. Here's case death. Oh, you're doing death as a proportion of cases. I'm talking about death as a proportion of population. That's where the U.S. is really bad. Well, uh, well, Much worse than South Korea, Germany, et cetera. You can't, you can't do that. So the way that clip ends is, is him saying you can't do that. Uh, what I was doing was pointing out that um, when you look at death count as a proportion of population, the U.S. is in horrible shape, horrible shape. And when you mm. compare America to other advanced countries like South Korea and Germany, who managed to do testing very early and effective contact tracing, it's not even close. And I just found this, you know, as a matter of history and this moment, stunning. You have the president of the United States uh, denying what is in front of him, which is a death count that when you look at it and you match it up against other advanced countries, it cannot in any way be described as a good outcome. But that's exactly what he's trying to do. It's, it's applying salesmanship that works in the worlds of real estate and reality television to the worst pandemic in a century. It, it, it's ignoring um, fact-based analysis, as this president continues to do, it seems, um, and wanting to you paint don't even this rosy picture of what's happening in this country. Yeah, just fact-based and, and ignoring yeah, um, 150,000 plus people that have died over yeah. the last six months. Yeah. I want I want to get to more of this because there were so many fascinating parts of this interview um, um, that you, when you spoke with the president, because you spoke about mail-in voting here. I want to play a bit of that. You know, you could have a case where this election won't be decided on the evening of November 3rd. Absolutely. This election could what's be wrong decided with that? two months later. Well, maybe two months. But what's wrong with the proper it mailing count? It could be count? decided many months later. Have you discussed You know why? Because people, lots of things will happen during that period of time, especially well, when you have tight margins. Lots of things can happen. I mean, we've seen this type of thing happen before. We saw it happen in 2000 when we had to wait on election results. It seems as if this president is really against mail-in voting because he feels as if it's going to hurt him in the election. Look, um, I'll be quick here, but reporters have an obligation to explain to voters and set expectations about this election. We are in all likelihood not going to know the result on election night unless it's a complete blowout, simply because there's going to be a much larger volume of mail-in voting. It's a pandemic, and we do need to establish those facts rather than allowing other theories to fill that space.